Greetings everyone! In this tutorial, you will learn a smart way to convert any Kindle books to PDF, regardless it is DRM protected or not. The video is divided into three parts, installing latest Kindle, installing other software and converting Kindle to PDF. For more contents like this, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. We will be downloading and installing the latest version of Kindle from Amazon.com. So to do that, let's open our browser and search for Kindle for PC Amazon. Here is a URL. Click on it. We will be using a PC so select PC download and add to cart. Proceed to checkout. Enter your login credentials for Amazon. Not sure how many people face this issue, but I often get this message. Anyway, again you can search for Kindle for PC. And then click here. And then download what you want. I want it for PC. It's about 54 MB file in size. So the file is being downloaded. So in folder. So let me install it. Double click on it. Since it's from the official site, we can trust it. Click on run. Let me close this. Let me close them all. So the Kindle for PC has been installed successfully. Initially, let's convert Kindle to a video format. Let me open Kindle. For this tutorial, let me get a new free Kindle books. Open Amazon.com. Let's search for free Kindle books. So for the demo purpose, let's select this free Kindle, click on it, buy now. Deliver to another device. Deliver. Enter the password. So it must have been delivered. Let's check Kindle for PC. Let's refresh the library. You might have to log in again. Please log in. So here's the book. Let me open it by double clicking on it. Maximize it. So this is the book we want to convert it to PDF. The book looks all good. All pages are there. Let me just go to the cover page. So here we are. The process of converting Kindle to PDF by this method is actually taking some smart move. We convert the book to a video file and then to PDF. So we need to capture the screen. You can use any software you have such as Camtasia or anything. Here we will use a free software. Minimize this. And here search for Atomy Systems. Click on Download Active Presenter. This software basically captures the screen. You can use any software you want or anything you have. Let me download it for my PC. Choose your version as you want. So the file has been downloaded. So the downloaded file has finished. 
click on it and install it. You can close all these. Next, next and install. Let me close this. So it has been installed. Let me launch it. Choose anything you'd want. I will go for the dark theme. Click on record video. I'd prefer to turn the webcam off. Now click on custom and open the Kindle. Full screen Kindle and simply arrange the record screen as per the required sizes. Books may have different sizes. Anyway, just turn pages if everything falls on this area or not. This looks all good. Now click on record. Ctrl plus N is to end the recording. The video is being recorded. Now you will need to change the Kindle pages per second so it's easy. Basically turn each page, use keyboard and change pages per second. Let's do it. Here I am changing pages in approximately 1 second. I will do it for around 25 pages. It does take time but for 120 pages it's approximately 2 to 3 minutes only. Ok I am done. Let me stop the recording. So now we have captured 25 pages of the books as a demo. So if I play this, the video seems to work all good. Now let's save it. Go to export, video, browse for the location, I'll choose desktop, I'll create a folder Kindle and give it a name Kindle PDF or anything you want. Save it. And for format, I suggest MP4. Choose MP4 and click OK. Open folder. Minimize it. Here's our file. If we check this file, it's MP4. Let's open this. Looks fine. First few seconds are wasted, but that's okay. Rest looks fine and readable. In the next tutorial, we will convert this to PDF. Now, as we have successfully converted Kindle to a video, let's convert the video to high quality images to PDF. We will require a software to do so. Let's download it. Open the browser and go to heyletslearnsomething.com. Go to download section. We will require these two free software. Since the site might be updated in the future and these download links may have different positions, it's better to search, though we'll provide it in the description. Search for convert images. So here are the results, we need both of them. Open a new tab. You can download it via Google Drive or via other link. Click on it. So it's being downloaded. Also download the other one. Ok, so it's done. Let me close this. So in folder. So let's install these two software. Now let's install this one, video to jpz. Ok. Next. Next. The installation has been completed. I will not launch for now. Finish. Likewise install jpz to pdf. Double click on it.
next i accept next and install so close this and close this we'll launch it later so basically we have installed the software which are here at the desktop let's open video to jpg converter Now let's add the file. We don't need this one. This is the video file we want. Simply drag it over here. So the files are here. Let's capture image every one second. Where do you want to keep it? Let us browse it to this folder and create a folder here images. I will simply browse this to Kindle to images. So one image is per second. Please calculate as according to your recordings. For options, nothing to do here. Everything done. Now click on convert. Process is completed. If I open this folder, you can see all the images are ready. Let's close the converter. Oops. Close it. You can see these are all same. So simply delete them. Please roughly go with all the images in case any pages are doubled or missing. You may have to capture it per frame or anything else. For here everything looks good. Now what we need to do is open another software free jpg to pdf. Drag all the images and put it over here. And close this. Let me maximize it. Normally all images are arranged in order as you drag them. All numbers seem to be automatically in order. Looks good. But please double check if things are in order or not. You can also check the PDF pages order here. You can check the images numbers too. So it's video from 1, 14 and so on. If we check the folder, we deleted some cover pages. So yes, it's 1 and 14 and so on. Anyway, if you want to change the position, you can simply click here and change it via these arrows. Now let's convert. Select the folder, give it a name, Kindle PDF and then save it. And then start. Make sure all the files are selected. And start. So it's done as you can see. Here's the PDF file. Change the side screen as you want. It looks all good. These are the images but this is the best that can be done. However, it should be easily readable on mobile or tablets or anything. If however, you want an exact PDF, then you will need to convert JPG to text file and then put it together to convert it to PDF. But that will take quite a long time. With this method, you should be able to do conversion very quick. Hope it helped. Thank you very much.